Hey, Bill, welcome back to uh, Ico and Shadow of the Colossus. We're gonna fight the boss because Josh went and did the thing. You gotta press up. Uh, well, boss. Uh, Ripper Roo. Oh boy. I know how to fight Ripper Roo. Oh, he, he's, uh, he's got a top hat in this one. Well, he has like a, Je a Jekyll and Hyde thing going on. So now he's sane, but he's gonna get blown up. And now he's, going, now he's insane. What do I do with the nitro? You just gotta find a bald spot to sit in. That's it? Yeah. Some moss? Yeah. Those bugs are gonna get so wet. In one of them, you have to like stand in one spot and then move to another as they explode. But yeah, he's got like bookshelves and stuff next to a waterfall. That sounds like a recipe for disaster. This is so easy. Well, it's the first boss. Oh god. Oh yeah, you're gonna have to move over. Oh no, you don't. Never mind. I did it. I did it. His face got flat. He's gonna do his dance, not facing the camera. They removed the pelvic thrust in later versions of the or in like later games. Like he still does that dance in like fucking uh, Crash of the Titans, but he but doesn't. The thrust. He doesn't do the pelvic. He just does like a stupid little jig or something. Does that count as a level? Do you want it to count as a level? I mean, if I play, it's just gonna be like five seconds. Because I'm so good at this game. I'm so good, I even know this, this trick in this particular area. You gonna do Barret? That's my favorite character in Final Fantasy VII. Watch, watch, watch. Oh shit, man! Five lives. Or ten. Burgers and fries. <laughs> Snowbiz, Air Crash, Barret, Crash, Crush, I guess, The Eel Deal. I, I like those levels though. Those are cool. Um, I'm thinking Air Crash. Okay, Air Crash is gonna be a, a, a board level. I, I want to do Barret. I like his level too much. A little mad that I, I want maybe I want actually. Do it. I feel like the running from the bear thing is in three. Hey, you seeing that shit? <laughs> this is the this is the thing I was talking about though, because like in, in the first game you have like a warthog that you yeah. On. You suck. I'm sorry. What did I hit? <laughs> oh yeah, the, another thing I love. This game has all kinds of death animations. Oh yeah. Gex had that too. <laughs> Death well, animations are always fun. Well, depending on the game. Like that. Like, like The Last of Us has a bunch of different death animations, but some of them aren't very fun. Like, I mean, like a fun game with death animations is that, that Tomb Raider game where she's going through the river and then she like gets impaled through the head on the. On that game that spike. is just fucking gore porn. <laughs> Like, that's all it is. I mean, I may or may not have had a boner. <laughs> I've never actually played it. That game is okay. I, I, I want to play it eventually, but... What if we played, like, the old Tomb Raiders on here? I would hate it. I've never actually played through them, but I, I from what I remember, they're they, enjoyable. They control horribly. Well, I mean... I don't know if horrible is the right word. It's just that it's very stiff, but it definitely follows its own rules. What? <laughs> I mean, it's not like the, it's unfair. It's oh, like, no, 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 but like... Like, as long as you stick within the <laughs> limits of the game, it's it does its job. Sure, but like... I mean, I know it's it's, a, it's really unfair to compare it like this, but like, by today's standards, those controls are fucking god-awful. Like, they really are. Well, yeah, they're weird tank controls. 
but the game required you to like line up really precision jumps and stuff. Yeah. And I think they had a really cool atmosphere to them. I mean, we could play Tomb Raider Anniversary. I've played the demo of it. I like, I have it. Oh, really? Yeah, I got it on Steam for like, because I bought like a Crash Crush. I'll um, do that. I think that's a level that has a bunch. It's like, it's a snow level with a bunch of side scrolling segments of those. The crushing crushers. Things. Or no, it's backwards, so you're running from a boulder. Oh man, I'm the best of these levels. Bra, bra. I said a hip, hop, a hip. Remember those old Crash Bandicoot commercials where he's like yelling at Nintendo? I remember the Pizza Hut commercials. That's about it, where the guy in the Crash costume is yelling through the Pizza Hut window, like, turn it around! And then she like turns the pizza, pizza slice around and bites into the crust because stuffed crust was such a fucking innovation back then. I think everybody at the table was just like, <gasps> She did not just do that. Wait, wh what is this? It's another path! I wonder if the guy who did the composing for this game, like, also did that for uh, Jack and Daxter, because that sounds really similar. I don't know. No, no. Okay. Oh, it's just a little thing. That dome, dome, dome reminds me of like the end game kind of music of Jack and Daxter. I like that game a lot. Jack and Daxter is probably one of my favorite <laughs> platformers. I still need to play him. I think Jack and Daxter is my favorite one. Everybody else acts like Jack 2 is the best, but like I, I didn't like Jack 2 because number one, the uh, it was really fucking easy to die in that game. Oh my god! And like. Checkpoints are incredibly unforgiving. I just remember talking to you on the phone like a long time ago, back when we talked on phones, and you were playing like Jack 2, and you were like, Yeah, I just like to I just like to run over fat people in this game. Oh yeah! <laughs> I still do that. And only fat people. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> The game just gave me a good out before uh, r slash fat people hate it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's like a subreddit called r slash fat 32 hate for the NTFS master race. For the uh, oh. systems. Ah. Uh, I get it. I'm so scared about taking those. Well, they're not going to lead you directly into a pit. If that's what you're wondering. No. I don't Butterflies care. came out of it. I don't care enough about the bonus stages. If we're not 100%ing this, I really don't give enough of a shit. I'll still do them, because my levels are too quick. <laughs> do these lives, like, save when you start a new, or when you reload? I don't know. Click. <laughs> you said it wouldn't happen! Well, it didn't. You, you, it sl you slowed down before you could fall in there. You still have to jump, maybe, but... It's not like it pushed you directly into it. Yeah, there. No, I didn't slow down. I don't, God I don't, damn it! I don't know about that. I'm really bad at this. I don't like. I don't like not seeing where I'm going. Tell that to Naughty Dog. Um, I kind of wish the camera was zoomed out a little more in Ground Zero or uh, Phantom Pain. You did. You pressed the wrong button. I pressed the wrong button. Maybe the field of view should be higher or something. It's just, it feels a little claustrophobic, especially when you're crouched. The only thing I don't like is how, and this is about to be rectified as soon as I, uh, as soon as I get a car and fold it. Um, but oh, I'm gonna fold in a bunch of cars. But anyway, uh. Like, I hate just, like, how sometimes it's so hard to get to where you need to be. Or how, like, the helicopter can only be placed, like, 50 meter or 50,000 meters away from wherever your objective is. Yeah. And that kind of sucks, but... I, I can't... I also Plus, I don't wish... like the running sound. Really? <laughs> I, I love this level. I love the music in this level. Because it uses that radar ping sound effect, like in uh, GoldenEye, you know, the pow, you know, 
Yeah. yeah, I hear it. Like the subway radar? Yeah, something like that. I think Grant Grant like gave the specific name of the sample in his Game Grumps episode. Remember when they said Guest Grumps was going to happen again? Yeah. Remember when they didn't do that? Oh, but we're so busy, guys. Here, let me take my fifth trip to Japan this year. Yeah, if I, like... I wanted to just, like, make a comic of, like, <laughs> him talking on the phone to, like, the person he hired to grind for him in Pokemon Red while on a, on a roller coaster at Disneyland. He's <laughs> like, yeah, I'm just so busy. But then I remembered I don't make comics. Did he really do that? Yeah, he got somebody else to uh, grind for him in Pokemon Red. What the fuck? Because he's so busy going to Disneyland at Japan. I thought he was supposed to be, like, good at Pokemon, though. Yeah, but he chooses to fucking use Beedrill. He's such a good Pokemon, guys. And, like, he, he, he knows that, too, apparently. He just does it to make people mad. And it's working. Huh, get them all! Oh, You are garbage! I know. What was I talking about before we talked about that? The Grant Kirkhope? The... Before that. I don't know, that was a while back. It was. My, my brain can't go back that far. Metal Gear? Oh yeah, running and getting places and stuff. I was gonna say something about that. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, I wish you could call the helicopter and move you to a new location. Oh yeah, definitely, because like doing side ops, because like sometimes it'll be like, I have two side ops left, and like one will be at the bottom of the map, one will be at the very top. Yeah, it's like... And you have to return to the to the ACC, and then select that side op, and then drop zone there, like three loading screens in between. That's why I like having D horse sometimes. Like, ever since I got DD, I didn't take D horse anymore because. But there is a fast travel. What? Uh, it's the uh, shipping container thing, like. Uh, yeah, but those, like those shipping platforms that you have to take the invoice. I don't. I still don't know how to do that. You you get in your box and wait for a second, and then the little prompt will come out. Yeah, but like when you're on the platform. What platform is it? It's what like is, an orange thingy, and you have to pick up a shipping invoice off of it, and that that opens it up as a as a portal to get there. I've never seen anything like that. There are like key points in the map, and they're on Mother Base on every. Uh, Thing. So I don't have to drive the car to get to the other side? No, you don't. I just wish you could just, like, while you're on Mother Base, just go pick a mission. Yeah. And the helicopter will come up. Why do I have to get on the helicopter, wait for the scene to go, and then get on the ACC? Like, it just... It, it seems like everything in the game was made without thinking about doing it, like, a hundred times throughout a game playthrough. Yeah. It's just the, like, hey, this looks cool, and it's, like, every mission starts out with, like, a big event or something, but then... Kojima's like, no, it has to, it has to be this way. No, because everything is an episode. It was, like, every every single mission is, like, an episode of a TV show. Well, that's what they did with fucking Star Fox Zero, and look at what that happened. It's not even out yet. <laughs> okay. Josh's turn. Snow biz. I, is there one called Snow Job? No. I can't remember if there was one the, or not. I don't think they would do that. <laughs> Ratchet and Clank might do that. They made a... Hey, fucking Ed and Eddie made a joke about that. What? Um... It was in one of, like, the winter episodes, and they were like, It's gonna be like a total snow job. Hey, snow job! And then they all kind of giggled. What if snow job is just like a term that people use for some? Okay, okay. What are those penguins doing? They're killing themselves. They look really happy to be enemies. Like these seals don't have big anime eyes like that. They're just like faceless blobs. And then the penguins are just like totally kawaii. And that's got a face. And I think it has little anime look! eyes. Look, the mirror. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a vampire mask. Did you just... <laughs> did 
you poop? Yeah. Did you poop? Yeah. So did you poop on my bed? Now, uh, the wooden ones are on a timer, but the green ones, they activate when you go under them. Okay, okay. I told you those are on a timer. <laughs> oh, you're good. That just seems like some weird rules to go by. Oh, that's on a timer. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah. I'm, it probably gave you a wooden one in an easily avoidable place to show you that. Hey, it's like Sonic Heroes. I think Sonic Heroes is an alright game. It's not the worst, but it kind of... There were a lot of parts in the game where even as a kid I was just like, this is stupid. Like, pretty much the whole... Chaos. Not chaos, but, um... No, Chaotix was cool. Don't fucking talk I about hated Chaotix. That. I fucking hated Chaotix. I mean, I, I thought really the characters just, were cool. That's really my favorite. My, the only thing I like about it. Because you got to play as Vector. Um, I just didn't like the switching mass aspect, really. And he just has a fucking super thick thing of bubblegum. Super thick thing of bubblegum. Like when you fly with him. He's just really? It, like the bubblegum, you can't see through it at all. It's just a, so fucking you thick. You can fly with bubblegum? Yeah. So he exhales helium. It's like it's like Knuckles gliding with him. Oh yeah, it, it, it is. is. We this... should play it on the show. No. They have a PC version. I'm gonna nip this in the bud right now. Eventually, but not anytime soon. Wait, didn't we already do this? We did a level like this. What are you nipping in the bud? What are you talking about? Th Sonic Heroes. What? Playing it on the show? Like, I was thinking in a recent time, I really don't want to anytime soon. Oh. Like, maybe That's... in the far off future when we, when we have absolutely nothing to play. I mean, honestly, I just want to play a Sonic game again. Sonic Generations. I know technically it's been done, but like. Oh, yeah. If you want to see my Let's Play of Sonic Generations, Please don't. don't. <laughs> <laughs> because it's awful. That was before BJ had standards. Yeah. I mean... I still don't, but... Look at that Wump account! <laughs> Fuck you. No. Oh no! Wow, you garbage! You garbage, Bob! How does that feel? <laughs> 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 oh my god! Here we go. I know you don't like... Wait, you, do you like that show? I... You just don't like the way they're animated? I Well, I, fr I was really turned off by two things. The animation and... Her the, voice. The kids. Oh. Uh, because the kids were always, like, the problem and they were annoying and... They basically just chose to be the antagonist of every episode sometimes. Just because they're annoying kids. That's like, I think that's just like a lesson about. But I mean, it's definitely watchable. I just don't go out of my way to. If it comes up on Adult Swim, I don't change the channel. It's on Adult Swim. Yeah. Oh. It's been on Adult Swim for a while. I didn't know that. I mean, yeah, it's about time for us to end this. Well, next time on Bob's Burgers. <laughs> Is it the last one? Is it the last level? Yeah, this is the last one for this. Am I going to do the boss again? Yep, you're going to be up for the boss next time on... Whoa! Whoa, that, man, that gets fast for a second. I guess I'm always going to do the boss, if that's the way that works. BJ, Josh, BJ, Josh, BJ, Josh. BJ Josh, BJ Josh, BJ J Okay, we'll just take turns doing the boss. Like, you did the last boss, I'll do this boss. Okay! So whatever. We'll do that next time on... Sega, Sega Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay. Or, or whatever that was called. It was that arcade game. Okay. Yeah, it had like a trackball. <laughs>